day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. So the reason I like the theology was he said, be merciful, because we've been reversible to you, right? He, he said, love, forgive, it, it, it's all in there. This is about giving. And as a matter of fact, that giving shall be given. Good measure, press down, take together, man, to give your bosom. Give love, and what you get? Love back, right? Give mercy, and what you get? Mercy, mercy back. You know what I mean? But the, all that stuff has already been given to us. No, we have to appropriate all that. We so, talk about, I, I'm talking about this day and present now. This is mercy we're talking about for one another. You know, because shooting you in the head five times, if, if somebody showed mercy, they wouldn't do it. If they show love, they wouldn't do it. We're talking about Christ gave them life now. Well, all I know is if God didn't want them to, they couldn't do it. Well, and that's where I'm at. <laughs> so, and, and, and I'm like Jesus. You have no authority over me unless God gave it to you. You know, those those bullets have no authority over my life unless God allows it to happen. But he, he did allow some things to happen. And he allowed it to, to a lot of the apostles died as, uh, as martyrs, right? Yeah, Instead but I mean, but that's, that's that's our mind frame. I mean, if if God's getting the glory out of it somehow. Yeah, he will. I think that was saying if you if you if you get persecuted or die for Christ's Christ sake, God's gonna get the glory. You will become a witness because when they're gonna say I killed him because he was an evildoer. Yeah. So I killed him because I didn't like him. Well, you know what? Did he like you? Yeah, he talked about he loved me. He talking about God loves me. He talking about saving my soul to Jesus Christ. I killed him anyway. God gets the glory. Not that. Well, so you know, it, 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 it also it also I believe it ministers to the people who know you more than it does that individual who kills you because oh, yeah. I mean that's true. Uh, that's true. That, that your life that's your life being that's a, a witness. witness. Yeah. Um, because that person who's going to kill you, he, he's lost anyway, especially if you're preaching the gospel to him Brother. and that person go ahead and kill you. You know, he, he's either he's either locked and going to hell or that moment is going to 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 change him to right. where it gives him an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And either right. way, God gets the glory. God gets the right. victory. And I am victorious because I'm with my father. Come on, brother. I agree. I think I think that's the point is that God wants to make to share that to people. That God gets the glory. God wants us to love one another. And you know the sad thing about it, the first child that came out of the womb was a murderer. The first child. And and the top of that, if you if you look at it, that uh Elder Johnson. The scripture here, the thing about it was, he, Abel, I guess Abel got the glory out of this, right? Yeah, but so what is that? We, we always look at, at at the murder. What about Abel? Abel, yeah, there you go. You know what? What? What about his life? Yeah. You know, did Did he sin? Though he was born in sin. You know, we we know God was there with him. We know God talked to him. I mean, he talked to Cain audibly. So he was there. I mean, how would they know to to give sacrifice if God wasn't there? Come on, Dad. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so, you know, did Abel actually sin? Or because he didn't sin, that's where Cain found fault in him. And naturally, oh. the sin that was in Cain, I, you I, know, I, I don't know. I'm just speculating. Yeah. But, I mean, we always look at Cain, and it just dawned on me: Have we looked at Abel? Well, look at Abel. Not not, not Abel's uh, offering, but Abel himself. Well, look at that. Well, Abel. Every seed produced after God, right? You know that, right? But all we know is that Abel took his sacrifice 
to for his sin, right? Obviously, that's what he's doing sacrifice for, right? In this case, he was given his first fruit, though. That, that's why the Jimmy favors, he gave the first fruit. He, so this was a sacrifice, it was like an animal sacrifice or something. But the other boy, he didn't get no. Matter of fact, go ahead and read it for us. Let, let us hear what you said. Okay. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Let that marinate. <laughs> she knew there was intimacy there. Yes, sir. But, yeah, she but she's she gotten got a man the from the Lord. Now, was she saying that Adam was her Lord? No, no. I think she said God. She got it from God. God got it. She got it from God. So, she okay. said, I, she knew so keep Eve. that in mind. She knew Adam. But that means he had sex. But she said yeah. she's a son from the Lord. Okay. That's capital, too. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's talking about God. God blessed her. Yeah. And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of the sheep, of sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Yes. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. Right. And Cain was very wrong. That's why. His, his continence failed. Why? And the Lord said unto Cain, <laughs> Why art thou wrong? <laughs> and why is thy continent fallen? Hey, were you asking that question for him? That why, why was he upset? I think it was it was pride and it was uh and he coveted the response that his brother got. His brother did the right thing, right? He got God respected his offering. God acknowledged his offering. But he did he, he did acknowledge the other boy's offering, right? Yeah. Whereas the boy didn't do what he told him to do. But what whole purpose of a uh, of sacrifice anyway? Well, that's to, to cover your seat. With what? With what? With an offering of your first your your with with uh uh well, in for sin, it's a it's a uh, unspotted end. Yeah, but, but what 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 significance out of that sacrifice? You know the blood. I thought it said the blood. Yeah, it was the blood, right? Yeah, the blood normally washed away the oh, sin. Oh, this case covered. In this yeah. case, the Jesus came. All the other yeah. animals were doing just covering. Yeah. Sin, right? Yeah. So, so wait. Uh, I, I, like I said, I, I, I'm thinking it, it, I don't know, but in my mind, it could have been uh, jealousy because, you know, he's a, he's a, he brought forth fruit from the ground. So, you know, look, I've been killing this ground and I, I raised this, this, this harvest. And in my mind, what I did is just as good as, as my brother. So I'm going to give this. Instead of getting what you what you told me to get, because I did this, <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. So. Yeah, but I think the part of the fact is that he probably was being disobedient to the teaching that maybe you know whoever told him to sacrifice, obviously they were taught to do it, right? Yeah. Adam obviously taught them to do a sacrifice. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, because how did Adam know to do this sacrifice? Well, God had to teach him, right? God yeah, but, and like I said, God was still there, so he must have taught Cain and Abel as well. Because well, he was speaking to him. Yeah, that's true, too. So bottom line is, they knew they were supposed to do. Yeah. The whole purpose of the sacrifice was that blood to cover that transgression. Yeah. The boy went inside, he gonna bring some fruit and some vegetables, and there's no blood in it. So he was being disobedient 
to God. Yeah. And his brother was doing what God told him to do. Whether he did it told him to Adam or told him to him directly. And he tells me, my fact, look, to me, it's not what he, obviously he was corrected because he found out that God had no respect for that offer. Yeah. So, I mean, in, in that, he could have still gone and got a, a, a sacrifice. Yeah, he could have got it from Abel. And, and gave again. Yes, sir. You know, and then and, and, and it would have been accepted. But instead, he coveted the response from his brother and took it out on him. Exactly. You know? And his brother had nothing to do <laughs> with God's response toward him. Exactly. You, you know, no. but but I mean, why didn't he go to to Adam and kill Adam or Eve? <laughs> he probably said he couldn't. Hey, look, Adam's all look over that boy. <laughs> I mean, I don't think well, he Adam was an old old man. Well, I mean, we don't know what age was like back then during that time. We don't know how 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 the body was affected. He could have just been. <laughs> he could have been what he was when he was created. I know until that. He, until he, you know. Hey, look, Adam lived 900 years. I think that number was, uh, I don't think you can just take him. I don't think you can just him out. That's all I'm trying to say. But he, well, Adam, Adam took on sin. He wasn't born in the sin. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, exactly. exactly. I think that, that, that life source yeah. that was in God probably kept that dude young, forever young. For a long time. For a long time. Now, yeah. uh, but anyway. Yeah. But uh, the point I'm saying is that he was upset and he killed his brother. And then, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we want to see the rest of it, but the bottom line is he said that, and oh, my fact, there's a, there's a moral to that in fact is that we are all children of God. You can sit there and come up with this social structure. You can sit there and say because he's black, or you can sit there because he's white. God, in the eyes of God, we're all brothers. You know, as far as mankind, right? And, and look what he said here. What what, what happened when he, uh, verse 7? Just like what I said, he said, If thou dost do us well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, send life at the door, which it did. Uh -huh. And unto thee shall be his desire, uh -huh. and thou shalt rule over him. Uh -huh. it says, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that <laughs> Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Right. So, what, what in the world <laughs> did Abel say to Cain? <laughs> <laughs> he probably said, look, you need to take the side of fight. They told us to put it on the altar. I, this is what I do. I put, a, I put an animal on the altar. He ain't like maybe that. He said, he, maybe he said, look, <laughs> you give me the offering you gave to God, I'll give you one of these spotless lamb. And Cain was like, no, I'll just kill you and take you. <laughs> we don't know. We don't but know. obviously, whatever he said to Cain, it didn't go well. <laughs> it did get it. Because he rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Yeah. And then the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel, that brother? <laughs> and he said, I know not. <laughs> Am I my brother's teeth? <laughs> wow. Wow. He could have said that about the boy that killed uh, Mr. Floyd. Where, 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 where's George Floyd at? I don't know where he's at. <laughs> and then God answered for him. God, that was a rhetorical question, wasn't it? He said, said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. You know, I often thought about that, that verse blood. there. The blood, all those people have been killed. Their blood cries in the ground. I often thought about that. Think about it, yeah. Yeah, the blood. Life is in the blood. 
and now art thou so 411 and now art thou cursed from the earth which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand Amen, son. when thou tillest the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength a fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth wow that I, if you think about it, like you said, is that the guy even was rebellious to God. He, he said, I don't know. He lied to him, too. He lied to God. Well, did he? Well, he said, well, I don't know. I don't know where he's at. Yes, you do. You know, you left him under, you left him under that bush you put him under. Maybe he was talking not, about his, his, his soul and his spirit. He didn't know where they were. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Right. He went to the bosom of Abraham. That's where he went to. But the problem right. Abraham, Abraham didn't, didn't exist at that point. <laughs> I, I believe that bosom was there. That bosom was there. <laughs> so where, 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 did, where did Abel go? He went to, unfortunately, sir, he, he had to, it was good part of hell and it was bad part of hell. I don't think he went for torment, though. That's the point. Yeah, but that's a good question. Well, I think he went to the good part of hell. Just like Abraham went to the good, good. part of hell. So, so was Abraham in Abel's bosom? You know, the word term bosom, but <laughs> Abraham's bosom term came later. But the bottom line is the place of torment in hell, and there was a place of no torment. Is the point. And okay. All those people who didn't deserve torment went to a place and, you know, where they were comfortable. Okay. And your boy, he sat there and traveled. He was worried about somebody killing him. <laughs> somebody like who? Well, you know, that's a good question, isn't it? I guess he knew all these other children, the Abraham, the Adam, and Eve, but Adam was going to show up sooner or later and look for him. Which is different. Why would he think that, right? Because it would take a while for those other well, children to grow. I always thought that the, the serpent, which was a subtle animal, yeah. <laughs> obviously it walked around prior to being cursed. You know, not saying that that maybe it was the animals that were after him because the Bible said they cryeth out. Well, you know, I think too, the serpent was going to be dust all the days of the life the man was made from the dust of the ground. Yeah. So he was still out there. He he just was uh so he's consuming flesh. Dead flesh. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean just, but the whole point of just trying to make sure you understand is that we're not supposed to kill our brother. You know, and God is gonna require the blood of people's hands to sit there and get out of hand. Is what I'm saying. And I don't want us to teach generation to generation the same thing. It has a curse to go with this stuff. They need to come into Christ. Not teach you to be outside of Christ. They're going to bear the fruit, like you said. If, if God is love, if Jesus is love, if his new commandment, he gave us a new. If else, did he not give us a commandment? Say it again. Did, did he give us a commandment? A new commandment? Yeah, love one another. Right. Yep. Not hate one another, did it? That's legit. I mean, so we, we need to learn how to do what God tells us to do. I mean, you know, this is what I got here, and then I'll put my last slide for today. If elder, this one right here, what the commandment he gave us. Brethren, I write unto you. All right. No new commandment to you, but an old commandment which ye have from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shining. He that saith he is in the light and hated his brother is in the dark. <laughs> Even until now, he that loveth his brother abideth in the light. There is none occasion of stumbling in him, and there is none, none occasion of stumbling in him. 
but he that hated his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Amen. So, so it, it, you know, Brother Adam, the people are too they, they teach to walk in darkness. You know what I mean? They don't know where they're going. How are they going to teach somebody else to go? Yeah. Blind leading the blind. Blind leading the blind. It's been and, quite a bit of that. Huh? It's been quite a bit of that. I, I, know th I, I think um, when the gospel was spread, well, we know that it, well, at Constantinople, when it became the uh, state religion, it got diluted. And the people who diluted it were the ones who took upon the task, I guess, of conquering the world. And so the version of it that we were taught here in the United States of America is definitely converted. Um, so I believe that this stuff from the cross the board, not only black people that were, were hurt by it, but I think a lot of white people were hurt by it the gospel as it was preached in the United States of America too. So for me, this is an exciting time where we can go back and correct some of the errors that were initially made, clarify some of the stuff and bring it into alignment with the will of God. Right. And I, I am excited about that because I believe once we see when, when that happens, we're going to see the manifestation of the kingdom, the yeah. those citizens of the kingdom. Because all souls do matter. And that's yeah. what we're trying to, we're trying to, we're worried about the eternal soul. <laughs> Jesus Christ made a statement on the cross that to me was hard to receive initially. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Right. And I could not see how they could not know what they were doing. But I guess his to know was on a devil, totally different level than what my comprehension was. And I've come to realize that a lot of these people really don't know. They are ignorant. I treat with yeah. people a lot of our brothers. We hold a lot against them. But I think some of them were just really ignorant. The answers that they got, they didn't have any work to do with it. So they kind of stumbled their way through this thing, but they were taught lies. They taught you know, but I'm saying it's like those things you see, if you look at some of those uh, uh, rallies, uh, people know now that, that COVID-19 is deadly, but they bring older people, they bring children to these events. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they are. I, I think the Lord was rejecting them now. They probably know what Christ, they know what Christ is about. They know they don't go hate nobody. I don't know. I, I, I really, I watch, I have watched, and, and their understanding of it sometimes, it's really kind of talking. I believe that the gospel was perverted. I believe when I listen to, and I'm not trying to take any shots at our political leaders or anything, but people seem to embrace the conversation of Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump has proven himself to be a liar in in front of the entire nation, I mean, entire the world. But they follow him as though his word is like really law. And so there's a certain amount of deception that's taking place there, whether you vote for the man or not, whether you love him or not, whether you agree with him or not, you've got to admit at some point the guy lies. And, um, but they don't seem to be moved by that. So there's some kind of deception that's taking place on a spiritual level, I think. This really has is indicative of the, of the spiritual blindness that they've suffered for these many decades. Well, to me, what blows my mind is these people are one agenda supporters. So if they, if if he agrees in going against abortion, then that's good enough for them. So they're going to support him. Right. You know and disregard all the other things yeah. that this man stands for right. which which is kind of you know weird yeah. and then have enough nerve to say all lives matter right. when a person can say black lives matter <laughs> um you know what what is truly in the minds of these people yeah. call themselves christians and support this man um but Again, that is the problem with operating in this world system, right? Because it is not of God, no. and therefore there is no righteousness in it, no way, no how, and it's always going to be against the kingdom of God. Right. So, our job 
is to uplift the kingdom of God here on earth as ambassadors in this world, but yeah. not of it. Right. And uh, I have to constantly remind myself of that. Uh, and which brought me to the point of all souls matter. Yes, sir. And as long as I keep that in my mind, then I can actually move in the, in this world system. Right. And, 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 and trying not to be caught up into the into the integral aspects of it because there is a third of me well I don't even think it's a full third anymore that is, is but there is a part of me that is subject to this well it is a third and that's my flesh that's subject to the cares of this world because of my skin color, you know, and 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 obviously it affects me. And and then I look at Jesus, you know, uh, this world system affected him because of his skin. He did not want to 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 drink of the cup that God put before him, but nevertheless, he did yeah. his will. And yeah. so that's where I find myself, and I, that just dawned on me just now. Uh, I, 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 I think it's...